Good. Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation live from Studio B on Valentine's Day. And, uh, Jeremy, you had an opportunity this morning to speak with the young lady that just won her first collegiate golf tournament. Her first name is Anique. The question is, how do you say her last name? I asked her that very question, Spence. Here it is. All right, Anique, first off, let's talk about the pronunciation of your name. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's Polish. Yes. Which is awesome. Okay, you say it, and then I'll try and say it back to you. Okay. My last name or the whole name? Uh, your last okay. name. Okay. Anique, Hutch- right? Yeah, Anique. And then Hutchkevich. Hutchkevich. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've worked so hard before this to that try was and nail perfect. it that was when perfect. we're on camera. Um, yeah, and let's talk about your family. Like, uh, where'd you grow up? And, and I guess your parents were acrobats in Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I was born and raised in Vegas, but my dad is obviously Polish with that last name. <laughs> he was born and raised there and kind of lived there for 20 years, so he has full accent, like, mm. straight out of Poland. Wow. And then my mom is Canadian, and so I have my dual citizenship, actually, and we spend a lot of time up there in the summers and yeah but born and raised in vegas um i love it down there it's, that's awesome yeah Where, where's your mom from in canada vancouver vancouver mm-hmm. bc okay yep you have a nice mix of culture and language yeah. and you know different traditions i guess what was it like growing up in your family well my dad spoke polish to us a lot when we were younger do you speak it a little bit yeah cool. i'm not fluent I mean, I can understand when my grandparents speak to me, like, mm. I can totally have a conversation, but in no way could I be, like, amazing at it. Like, <laughs> do, do return missionaries from Poland ever talk to you? No, Polish? never. Like, what? I've never, ever, Come ever. Come on, talk to a Nick in I, Polish. Let's go. <laughs> I've never heard a re- return missionary from Poland. So. The setter on the volleyball team, one of them, is yeah, uh, from Poland. Poland. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did know. Slavinsky. Yeah, that's yeah. his last yeah. name, which is cool. Kind of the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Um, th- when do you get into golf? Because, uh, or were you a gymnast or into acrobat uh, right. stuff like your parents? Yeah, so kind of different. Like my sister does ballet. She's a professional up in Canada. My parents obviously acrobats. I did ballroom for a little bit mm-hmm. when I was younger, but my dad loves golf. And so I kind of just started with him. We would go to the range about every day. And then... Well, how old were you? 10. I was around 10. That's and awesome. then I started competing when I was 13. So I just took, like, group lessons. Didn't My dad honestly kind of taught me throughout my whole life. And then I've had coaches here and there, but it's always been my dad. He's been with me, like, forever. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So, um, and we'll talk about you winning the Texas State Invitational here in a second, but tell me more about your parents being in Cirque du Soleil. Was it when you were little? Was it recently? Uh, it's been, yeah, my whole life, honestly. My mom, wow. she retired when she had me, so she wasn't in it for for 20 years, or no. For 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So they actually met on tour in London, and then they um, moved to Vegas because there was a show there, Mm -hmm. and they were going to be part of the original show. And so then my dad retired about two years or three years ago. So he's been doing it for a long time, but now he's a bit old. So That's amazing. (laughs) Yeah. That's amazing. And... I mean, did you have stuff around the house where they practiced, or did they have to go somewhere else? Uh, no. They swing it was just you from on the strip. ceiling? Yeah. <laughs> no, on the strip. I mean, yeah. I've been to so many shows. Yeah. Like, we've been to all, like, the openings. We Backstage. Like, it was, like, a number one thing for, like, our birthday parties or something. Like, we'd bring all of our friends and go backstage. That's pretty cool. Everyone's like, oh, my gosh, like, can we jump on trampolines? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. We're talking to Anik. Hutchkevich. Yes. On BYU Sports Nation. <laughs> so um, you get into golf at age 13. You start competing. When does BYU enter the conversation for you? Because now you're a senior and you just won your first tournament. Right. So honestly, like my whole family doesn't really even really golf or we didn't even know about like college sports. So I played in a few tournaments for like Southern Nevada and I actually played in this tournament called um, Junior Girls America's Cup and I was paired with Alicia May. Who okay. is my teammate? One of your teammates. Right. That's cool. And so we were about like 14, 15, and coach was actually watching the both of us. And so she was walking, it was actually, it's a really cool story. So she was like walking with us, like sent us an email after. And then Alicia and I kept in touch, and we kind of were just like, hey, did you get an offer from coach or not offer? Like just an email. And we're like, yeah. And so, Hoping the other did if you did. Too, right, right. right. Like, but we kind of figured about. because coach yeah. was like yeah. clapping for the both of us, you know? <laughs> and so she came out, and she went on a visit, and then I went on a visit. So I, I went on a visit to UNLV, ASU, and then BYU. I came here like three times. I went with my mom. I went with my dad. And then Alicia and I actually had our official visit together. Mm. 
And so, yeah, it was super fun. I just fell in love with BYU when I came here. And so. That's awesome. Yeah. And Carrie Roberts is a baller. Right. She's one of my favorite people on campus. I know. What is it like to be coached by Carrie? Because she's a competitor. Right. She can be very feisty, but Mm -hmm. she's also like a great hang, it seems like. Oh, absolutely. She's so much fun. And she's just super chill. You know, like, I feel like you can tell her anything you want. Yeah. You know, she's kind of like. Obviously a coach, for sure, number one coach, and then a friend. Mm. And so it's like we're super comfor- comfortable with her. She's always a fun time, always wants to do fun activities when we're on, out on trips. And being coached by her is super fun. Like, mm. she's tough on you, but yeah. it's for the best. And she cares. Like, that's the number one thing is, like, mm. she just cares so much. That's a that's a tough blend to find sometimes. Right. All those things you just – Yeah, I know. Can she still swing it, by the way? Oh, yeah, all the time. She played with us on Friday. Is she better than you guys? Or you, like? I don't know. If I... <laughs> uh, no, she's she's a... Can she hang? Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. She she can beat us. LPGA Tour. Yeah, wow. like, she fires it up. Yeah, she got some good shots. A good answer, even if it isn't true, right? As your coach, you got, you got to say it. No, on, it's right? true. She yeah. does. Yeah, okay, good, good. Okay, tell me about the Texas State Invitational. Um, you, you shoot a fine around 68, 500 for the tourney. What was it like to win that and play that well? It was super exciting. I mean, it's my first college win and kind of come a long way from last year. I was on the struggle bus, but coming back from that, just super happy. Awesome for the team to also get the win. And uh, yeah, no, my I struck the ball really well that week. Just hit it close, made putts, and just kind of was super focused. How'd but. you get off the struggle bus? Because being on the struggle bus sucks. It's so hard. Uh, a lot of hard work and tears. Like, it was the worst. And tears. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? I Seriously, I shot, like, 86 mm. a lot during my rounds and tournaments last year. And I'd be like, oh, my gosh, I got it this time, Coach. I got it. Like, I'd play good in qualifying. And then I'd go to the first team and be, like, hitting a provisional. And so, <laughs> yeah. But, no, honestly, after, I would say, West Coast Conference last year, we were leading for the first, like, 50 holes. And then we all kind of had a tough ending, which we lost it. But we kind of sat down together as a team after, and we kind of just talked about, like, what we need to do to get better. And everyone was on team, you know, everyone was on board, and we kind of just did exactly what we said we needed to do and came out strong last fall semester, won our first two events, and then won our first event of the spring season. So Picked right up. Yep. Which is pretty good. <laughs> I love this team. One, because you guys are fun. You're really good. And then I love the the blend of types of people. So yeah. Golf has been traditionally, you know, a white game. Yeah. There's a lot of Polynesians on this team, which is mm-hmm. really cool. And it's sort of like, I don't know if it's the Fino effect yeah. of Polynesians <laughs> in Utah playing golf. But right. it's pretty cool Yeah. Um, to, to have a lot of different types of people from different backgrounds right. on this team, right? Right. I mean, if you go to any tournament, I think you look at our team and you're like, what? Right? Like, there's just everyone, every kind of person there. And so it's super fun. But also, it's awesome, like, the team chemistry that we have together. I mean, obviously, we're all so different. We're mm-hmm. all from different places. Yep. You're from Vegas, but, like, right. the Polish angle, right? Right. right. Yeah. Exactly. Alicia is from Hawaii, but she, her, she's Filipino. And yep. then we've got a Tongan and Samoan. Crazy. Hey, let's go. No rivalry though, and then we got uh, we got Adeline up in there from California. But yeah. yeah, she's awesome. We love her as a freshman. She's come through. She's clutch. Listen, when you're a freshman <laughs> coming into this program, we're expected to go to the tourney and put <laughs> yeah. a lot of pressure, right? Right. I know, pressure. but she just comes through. She's That's awesome. Okay, what's next for you guys? So we leave next weekend to Sacramento. We're playing in UC Davis's event, and we're playing Del Paso. I heard it's a nice country club. So okay. Should be good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, congrats on the win as a team and individually. And, Thank you. Uh, it, now, full disclosure, you worked here for like a day, like <laughs> last know. year, right? We were trying. You're going to be a production assistant. Yeah. We talked about you all the time. We're like, hey, is, what, uh, what's up with the Nick? We know she's busy. <laughs> da da da. So it's fun to finally get you in here. I know. Hilarious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks for the time. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me.